This conference will now be recorded. Hey, hi everyone. Uh, so let's uh, understand today alpha, beta, and gamma in statistical forecasting. Okay. So these are basically known as smoothing parameters in stat forecasting. Okay. Uh, basically, alpha, beta, gamma doesn't mean anything. I mean, uh, the naming wise. Okay. Uh, I mean, um, if, you, if, if you have studied something, uh, we, we would have studied somewhere else about alpha, beta, gamma. So it's not. Uh, the, the naming is just it's like a jargon what they have named it so it doesn't really mean something okay so what does actually they represent so they are just like a smoothing parameters and what they represent is so alpha is represents base factor okay uh, beta is for trend factor and gamma is for your seasonality seasonal factor okay now uh simple uh now just let's think uh we have some history pattern okay uh like we have a history like this okay so our history pattern looks like this so we have we have plotted a graph based on our uh, sales history okay so this is the how the graphs looks like okay now uh we have various points like this is week one week two uh week three week four so like that we have plotted this graph okay so now alpha is actually determines uh, is a is like is is uh, so what does alpha represent? Alpha is a base factor, right? So what does it actually represent? It represents the uh, it helps you in calculating the baseline of your forecast. Okay, meaning uh, it 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 represents how much weightage you want to give to the recent peaks of your history. Okay, or how much uh, weightage you want to give to the weeks of your history so if you give alpha as suppose one suppose for example you are telling system to give complete weightage to the latest week of history only means you are not considering to give any weightage to your previous weeks of history okay so you are giving complete weightage to your recent week of your history okay so similarly uh, so what does alpha mean here alpha means how much weightage it needs to really give to your history uh, history okay so when exposed forecast is being calculated so what is an exposed forecast in simple terms uh, not going very deep into the exposed forecast topic just in simple terms uh, system calculates uh, forecast in your past buckets as well when system is generating a statistical forecast now this is my actual pattern when i plot it right so when i plot uh, statistical forecast how it how it looks like it starts from here and it, maybe it looks something like this my statistical forecast right so exposed forecast is something which is calculated in my past bucket so my exposed forecast is also getting calculated and this continues as my statistical forecast in the future buckets right in the past also system calculates forecast so we can use exposed forecast to understand how good is our forecast strategy right because exposed forecast is something a forecast in the past bucket and in the past you already know how much you have sold you already have your actual sales history you already have your actuals suppose in this week i know already i have sold 100 quantity right i know i have sold 100 quantity now if my exposed forecast is saying uh, some 92 or 93 okay it's i mean my forecast is uh, pretty good i mean i have a small variance of error but if my exposed forecast is showing some 50 or 40 then maybe my statistical forecast is not so good i mean ju just just at a high level understanding exposed forecast so uh, so based on this uh, alpha parameters so your exposed forecast is being calculated okay so your exposed forecast is varied and that based on that exposed forecast again your statistical forecast will get calculated okay so basically alpha just to understand again alpha is some a parameter uh, where you can uh, give where you can tell the system how much weightage you want to give to the recent history okay so so what is beta okay so as we discussed beta is per trend pattern now let us take uh, now again uh, beta if you uh, beta is like uh, how much trend how much trend involvement you want to consider 
okay how much i mean how much recent trend you want to consider while calculating the statistical forecast so you may you may have trend pattern throughout your history history series right now let's take a simple um, now let's take a simple history pattern like suppose uh, 80 90 100 so in week 1 uh, uh, in week 1 80 got sold so like that okay 100 110 in week 5 what happened 130 150 170 right now if you look at my history pattern my trend suddenly got increased here in the recent weeks it got increased by 20 number i mean here the trend is huge right if you look at the trend 130 150 170 so there was a huge upward trend than compared to your past packets your past packets is 80 90 100 and 110 so if i give trend factor i mean if i give trend factor as one suppose in my statistical forecasting profile if i give trend as one so what will happen it will consider this latest trend pattern so my forecast will be more so my forecast will be more when i consider my if i give uh, if i give beta as 0.1 and if i give beta as 0.9 okay so if i give beta as 0.1 my statistical forecast will be less when i compare to when my when i give beta as 0.9 why because in if i give my beta 1 it will consider the early trend pattern these trend patterns and these trend patterns if you look at this the actual uh, history here it looks uh, like increase of 10 quantity right the trend here is increasing by 10 quantity but point 0.9 it gives it, it it reads the trend pattern of my latest history so if you look at the trend pattern is increasing by 20 points here right so beta is used for trend factor determining uh, uh, not determining beta is like a trend factor uh, which gives um, which considers the recent trend pattern in your history okay similarly gamma is for seasonality factor okay so why so when when i say gamma what it really gets considered here it consider what is the seasonality pattern in your recent history patterns so if i give uh, highest uh, gamma what will happen it will consider the season only okay so it will not go to the beginning of weeks okay so let us just simulate in the system and see what actually is happening here uh, so if if i have logged in uh, to my system and uh, if i this is my ivp system here and uh, if you look at my actuals uh, so i have created multiple scenarios here uh, I have taken one product, one location, one customer. So I have three key figures here: actuals, statistical, and exposed forecast. Okay. So if you look at my actuals in the beginning week, I have two six six six. Okay. This is my actuals history. So I'll just filter it by uh, scenario so that we can understand uh, each scenario. specifically so let's take uh let's begin with uh alpha s1 okay so if alpha is one what will be my um statistical forecast right so cast it will first order export uh and will happen here see my recent week of one triple five the latest week right and i have told system consider alpha s1 okay so then what has happened my statistical forecast while my statistical forecast is generated from week 12 uh, while my statistical forecast is generated from week 12 considering uh, from week 12 what has happened here system has calculated it has taken complete this week only as my statistical forecast means whatever i have in week 11 it just has repeated the same so single order exponential is a constant forecast model i think uh, you all are aware okay so it just, just it just generated the constant forecast of one triple five across my future buckets okay uh based on my very recent history so whatever recent history i am telling uh whatever recent history i am having it has copied the same 
why so because when i have given alpha as one what system has thought system has thought that i should consider only my recent bucket i should give 100 percent of weight to my recent bucket of history and no more history weights are considered here so simply it has given 100 percent weight uh, of my recent history and just it has calculated it has just generated a forecast with one triple five yeah so if i give suppose alpha as uh zero okay so when i give alpha as zero could I, so when i give alpha as zero I'm system not to give any weights here okay so my recent weeks will not have any weights because alpha is zero right my recent history see will not have any so why is here across my uh, statistical forecast because here alpha is not giving any weight i'm not giving any weight to my recent buckets and simply whatever the history i'm having in my first bucket okay in whatever sales history i'm having or actual quantity i'm having in my first week okay whatever i'm having is just copied into my statistical forecast so when i ran statistical forecast with two triple uh, when i ran statistical forecast with alpha is zero what has happened whatever i have in the beginning week of my sales history that two triple six it get copied across to my statistical forecast and even if you see exposed forecast also did not react from there okay why because exposed see again uh, again in simpler terms okay uh, in simpler terms based on your suppose this is my history okay so what is exposed forecast exposed forecast is the forecast in your previous buckets right forecast calculation in your previous buckets now uh, now exposed forecast also will get run based on my alpha parameter right so when i selected alpha as zero what will happen since i am not giving any weightage to my history suppose if this is my week one okay suppose this is my week one and this is the value of two triple six okay two triple six this is the value of two triple six and this is my week one so what is happening here when I, when the system is generating the exposed forecast it starts from week one right two triple six it, it generates this value two triple six and it is unable to react to your history pattern at all so it stays flat from here it stays flat from here okay and it comes like this. why it is unable to react to your history here because you are not giving any weightage to your history so it is unable to react to your history and it is just coming flat okay if i give alpha as one what is happening alpha as one so system uh, is considering this latest point and from here it is just going and giving you a statistical forecast okay so these two uh, uh, things i mean what we have seen in the system if alpha is zero and alpha is one so let's just see uh, for a second what if what happens if i give alpha as 0 0.6 0 0.5 okay so that's in between of one and zero right so what if i give alpha as 0 0.5 then my recent uh, uh, weeks whatever i have uh, recent weeks some weightage is given to my history buckets so actually there is a formula for this calculation it's based on uh, your base forecast okay uh, and uh, exposed forecast this 104 can be determined uh, we will see that uh, in a different uh, session like how this 1054 is determined but this is what the value uh, comes if i pick up alpha as 0.5 okay so now you have to decide what is the best alpha parameter for you so the standard sap parameter for alpha beta gamma are usually 0.3 i assume so 0.3 is your standard parameter uh, and uh, we have a few profiles where the like adaptive alpha profile forecasting profile or uh, automatic seasonal automatic uh, model where you can um, where the system will increment the alpha beta gamma for you and it will determine what is the best combination of alpha and beta and gamma if you are not sure which one to give okay like uh, either giving one or zero sometimes might be a disaster because it's just you know uh, giving very um, uh, importance to the recent bucket or to the beginning bucket okay so it should be always between uh, zero to one somewhere but what is that zero to one somewhere what value you should really use okay whether it should be 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 which one you should really use uh, usually you determine this by doing various um, simulations okay 
or you can run the uh, automatic models which which sap has given okay and see what sap is suggesting the best alpha beta gamma and determine from there as well okay so i hope uh, you understood what is alpha and beta and gamma here uh, so basically again these are smoothing parameters and basically these these represent what is the uh, weightage given to your recent buckets like alpha is for cal uh, calculating your baseline for your forecast okay beta is like understanding the trend pattern in recent bucket how much trend it needs to be considered okay seasonality to determine the seasonality pattern okay um, in the in the history buckets okay so yeah that's it for today thank you